Hello, welcome to my little ride I put together up South Table Mountain. Kind of an eventful ride, first ride with the GoPro. Some things to learn about this one, the GoPro is definitely aimed too low, looking kind of down a little bit. Cruise up here, pass some geese, get the slow-mo shot in. Stupid shitting geese. Uh, there's no way to get up here without riding on this thing. You, the stairs, it's kind of annoying to walk up because you got to turn the bike around. Head up here, this is the worst part of the ride, looking back at people trying to get on the highway right there. Cruise over I-70, gateway to Rocky Mountains, at least for Colorado. Cruising up here, this is a big area with a bunch of condos and townhomes and stuff. Fairly nice, good view up there. Overlooking, had some friends that lived up there for a while. Head up here, got on the fire road, and then at the end of the fire road there's a access trail. Hopped on access trail. Not setting any speed records here, but uh, you know, having a good time. Cruising along, a little bit of loop de loo section, gets you over to the other side. Then you start the climb on the mountain. So this is uh, a little bit easier, or harder climb, a little bit shorter, harder climb than going the other way, but they're pretty similar. Head up here. Hear my heart racing with the GoPro and the chest mount. In rail right there. Kind of a cool building, but it's locked down like a prison because the government owns it. So there's chain link all around it and it looks like a prison besides the kind of techie architecture. So heading up this way, making some nice slow progress. Cruising up it's real kind of arid native grasses a lot of rattlesnakes up here a lot of uh, little mice and stuff nothing too bad cruising up this way a lot of people out Thanksgiving Day weekend a lot of people hiking around felt a little bad cruising around on the mountain bike but I tried to be polite for the most part get up here to the top get a nice little view of the top of the Table Mountain. Nice vista up here. Head this way, there's some little rocks you can kind of jump off of and stuff. Go off some rocks. Looked out west, about here, and there was uh, some real storm clouds building off to the west, so pointed the GoPro at them and got that coming. I don't think that ever really hit. It just kind of looked ominous. There it is. Cruise around the top. I usually like to do this little loop up the front, down the back side. Uh, the back side's a little bit more fun to ride down than the front side. The front side's kind of more smooth, single track. That kind of got the best of me today, but cruising over here and I saw a guy on a hardtail going down the trail right before me, so I paused and let him get a little bit in front of me before he went. And here we go, on to the downhill. This part's really fun, it's kind of, you can go up and fish it, fishtail there a little bit. Head down, there's some rocks to dodge and stuff. And the GoPro really levels things out, it makes everything look a lot slower than it feels out there. That maybe try to get some third person shots or maybe even helmet mount for a little bit and see how that looks. Took that corner a little wide. Then heading down in here past some people. And uh, I'm not really sure what happened up here, but I thought it was rocks, but I watched the video and couldn't quite tell what it was and just ate shit. Fucking smashed my helmet up and skinned my knee, hurt my shoulder. A little bit of a crash. Not too bad, it could have been worse. Really glad I had the helmet on. Put a nice dent in the side of the helmet. Feeling okay though? Right here I was not feeling okay. Right here I was feeling like shit. But just had to uh, talk to this nice gentleman who was smiling at my misfortune. And uh, you know, take a little break here. Enjoy the view for a second. 
gather my wits. Yeah, just, rolled just a out quick for seat. My mouth was real dry right here. I just wanted to catch my breath and figure out how I fucked up so bad. So, doing okay there. Just put a new tire on that rear tire. A new tube. Blew it out yesterday, actually. But new tube. Was running good until that. You can see I got a little bit of blood on my forearm there. Looking classy. Took it a lot easier on this section. Uh, this section you can usually kind of stand up and pedal through and get down quick. I had some stuff stuck in my hand from the fall. Pulled that out. Not feeling real confident right here. A little banged up, but starting to get my head back. Starting to cruise down a little bit more aggressively. Taking a little bit more care. This is, this is the trail that's kind of on the right of way that cruises around the entire mesa. Like I said, a lot of people out when it's almost 70 degrees. Thanksgiving. This part's fun. You can ride up this little retaining wall here and then kind of pick the height that you want to drop off on. I went pretty small there because I just smashed myself, which I'm glad I did because I almost ran into the fence. Now cruising back, get back on the road here, take a little breather. Usually not too many cars going this way, so I usually just take the street back. Person is delivering pizza. Now I'm cruising down. This is the last little climb part. Once you get over this, you gotta turn. This part can be pretty fun, but you go into it blind, so I don't really like to go that fast. But jump off this little thing, then you can jump off this retaining wall down here again. Cruising back, geese again across here, down into the lower part, passing these little overflow ponds, across the bridge, jump through the mud there, quick look at the house, looking good, cruising this way today, come around and pull into the garage here, I went around the side because there's cars in the garage actually. Flip onto the gate. Bike goes in. And I surveyed the damage that I did to myself here. So, nice scrape on the shoulder, scrape on the leg, hit my arm on a rock, and I think I, yeah, uh, nice ding in my helmet there. You can't see the, the big one on the right there, it's just ridiculous. So, Pretty glad I had a helmet on. Thanks for watching.